So taking up your position for this the shorter body scan. So whether that's lying down or sitting, just allowing the body to be still, to rest. Take a moment to make yourself slightly more comfortable. And just checking in with your intention at the beginning of this practice. How come you've showed up for this today? And in mindfulness practice, we make this radical attempt to get in tune with a part of ourself that doesn't mind what happens, that witnesses what happens, that notices. So, before we begin, making a, a genuine effort to kind of say to yourself, whether I encounter pain or pleasure, comfort or discomfort in this practice, I notice it as far as possible without preference. Tuning into the part of yourself that's behind the preference, that notices the preference. And then noticing the breathing. And letting your attention travel down the left and right leg to the feet and to the toes. And without preference, just being interested, what is the experience at the toes today? Is there tingling? Is there coldness? Can I sense a blanket or clothing? And then letting that attention move into the rest of the, the feet. Any sense of tiredness, achiness? Can you feel air on the feet? Can you feel the pulse down at this part of the body? And picturing a breath going all the way down through your body, washing all the way down through the legs, filling the feet and then letting them go. Noticing the experience at the ankles. And at the calves, perhaps the calves are in contact with the ground. Or if you're sitting or standing, noticing are the calves holding at all? Is there any tension? And checking around the shins and the knees. Tuning in at the thighs, the upper legs. If any part of the body you feel it could be beneficial to flex the part, that muscle, you're welcome to try that, to flex the muscle and then with the exhale to release it. This can be a powerful way of allowing any more tension to come out of the body. But our principal aim in this is just to witness to be that part of ourselves that just notices what's taking place at the thigh. As though we've never been in this body before. What's it like? How do you know you have a left and a right upper leg? Is the back of the leg in contact with the ground or clothing?
just being present to the sensations that are to your consciousness and letting a breath wash down through the torso and down through the legs, filling the legs with the oxygen and as you exhale letting the legs melt away from your awareness and tuning in at the buttocks and the hips around the groin the genital area and the pubic bone, pelvis just noticing, witnessing what it's like for you right now to bring attention to this area and being aware that you're breathing and letting the attention come up from the hips along the lower back noticing at both sides of the lower back of course an area where people can often have pain and tension, discomfort and injuries and if you like to imagine the awareness crawling along the vertebrae of the back up along the spine and as it does tuning into the, the bones and muscle on either side of the back as you come up along the spine up towards the upper back the shoulder blade region and then where the back begins to meet the neck and meet the top of the torso the shoulders allowing the back to expand with the breath and with an exhale bringing the attention around to the front of the torso the lower part where the abdomen meets the pelvis where the intestines are and just witnessing what's here Noticing what the breathing does to the belly. And then coming up along to the ribs and the chest. Allowing the muscles of the chest to be easy. Seeing if you can sense the clothing or blanket on the chest. Allowing the lungs to expand with oxygen and relaxedly contract as they exhale. Allowing the whole torso to fill with air as you inhale, noticing this. And as you exhale, Letting the attention fill the left and the right arm, the hands, tips of the fingers. Noticing the air on the hands. Noticing the position of the hands, what they're touching. Can the arms ease any? Anything that doesn't need to be held tight, can it relax a little? And if the mind wanders, just congratulate yourself when you notice. When you come back to being the witness, just noticing what's there at the arms. Any sense of pleasure or discomfort the arms, the upper arms or the elbows or where the arms meet the shoulders directing breath down the arms to the hands and as you exhale letting the arms melt away 
and bringing attention to the neck. Perhaps you notice air at the neck, or a blanket, clothing. Tuning into the throat, around the back of the neck. And then noticing the face, all of the face, allow it to rest. With, if possible, a very subtle smile at the lips. Notice the position of the lips, if they're slightly parted or closed. And the position of the teeth, the tongue. Where are these resting? Noticing where the air is coming in and out. And allowing the eyes to be at ease. Tuning in at the forehead, at the temples. And attending to the ears. Can you feel the air at the ears? And notice what you hear for a moment. And then checking in at the top of the head. Well, maybe if you're lying down, perhaps you notice the back of the head against the ground. And then we allow the attention to expand. And just notice this body inhaling, exhaling, in rest. Encouraging, inviting the body to be in rest. Whenever you're ready, if you begin to wiggle the fingers and the toes, prepare to open the eyes. Congratulate yourself for engaging in this practice. Thank you.